Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this particular video, we will be talking about like generating cool QR codes instead of these boring ones. Okay. So what we are going to do is we will be actually turning these boring QR codes into something like cool. You can see right over here. Okay. Uh, and look at this one. So if you are running a business, so it would actually make a huge impact on your customers or consumers. Okay. Because these look like really nice and they work like really amazing. Okay. So you can generate these cool QR codes. So you can actually stand out from your competitors while using the QR code technology. Okay. So suppose that this is a QR code, which like mentioned some of your services and it's there on your website. Okay. Instead of this boring thing. So it can make a huge impact on your visitors. Okay. So, okay. So we will be using like uh, two services. One is like QR code AI art generator model on hugging face. Okay. You just need to go on to the Google and just type this thing like QR code AI art generator and you will be here. Okay. On the hugging face. Okay. You just need to sign in with your account or you can create one. Okay. It's totally up to you. So the first QR code I generated like first thing you need to provide is QR code content. Okay like the website that should open when someone scans this QR code. So first of all, we need to provide that you can provide a QR code image as well. Okay, you can provide a boring QR code image. So it can actually turn this image into something cool. Okay, then you need to provide in a prompt. I provided like Minecraft skin gloomy menacing in a jacket pants and boots okay so you can actually give in negative prompts as well like ugly disfigured low quality blurry nsfw so negative prompt actually means like the model should work in a way that it should not produce something like this okay then you can control the parameters as well and then just click on run so it will produce something cool like this thing okay so the second one I just generated is the I said like a serious man with short beard, mature manly with black hair and glasses. OK, so it just produced this thing. It's looking like really crazy. OK, so the negative prompts remains the same. The third one is actually the prompt like a steampunk cityscape at dusk where airships float among towering gears and cogs all under the glow of a copper sun okay so you see how cool this thing is looking and it actually works i just tried to scan it on my iphone camera and this thing is actually working okay yeah it works so the fourth one i generated is the I just gave in a prompt like a futuristic individual with cybernetics implants, their skin illuminated by the soft glow of embedded LEDs. Okay. Now I will just try to actually create one more like live in front of you. So I can just give in a prompt like cascading waterfalls with rambos arcing through the droplets. Yeah, the parameters are good. So I can actually provide in with this link to generate the QR code. The content would be like this website. OK, you can provide anything. It's totally up to you. And then I can just click on run. So it usually takes like about 20 seconds and it depends upon like the queue, like how many people are using and generating this thing. So it usually takes about like 20 to 60 seconds, depending upon the models, uh, slow time and everything that is like uh, considered. OK, or you can say downtime. So you see how cool this thing is looking like uh, cascading waterfalls with Rambo arcing to the droplets. Suppose you use this thing, you can also save this image and uh, just uh, paste it on your website or something like that. It looks like really stunning and amazing. You can see right over here. So the second service which we are using is like uh, from Replicate. Danny Postma is like if you go back to 
this person's website is actually a person who works a lot in this field so if i just move to his github you can just see like what he has done till now so he has like different models so we are using like cog visual qr you can see right over here uh, so to use this you need to actually sign in with your github account so he also has an api section where you can actually use this api in different like you can see right over here in different things to actually make your own website okay so it's providing these things you can see it says like output schema comes in this form so you can actually uh, set up an api if you're involved in like something like that okay so let's move on to the demo and see like how this thing works i will just uh move with the default settings okay the prompt is like gorgeous romantic sunset cliffside all looking beautiful city of new york warm colors in the style of hiroshi nagai very detailed okay so i can just click on submit so it will be starting soon okay let's wait to finish this thing and then i will just show you how it looks all right so you see like it looks amazing this qr code is like really awesome and the thing is that it also is providing you with an api where you can actually create your own website it doesn't matter whether you are programming with Node.js, Python, HTTP, COG, or Docker, okay? It is providing you with actually the API where you can use this API and create your own website, okay? So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like this one. This is a cool thing, okay? A new technology like you can generate cool QR codes with the help of AI. So that's pretty amazing. So that marks the end of our this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.